Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chom here and welcome back to another brand new video. Today, we have a bit of a channel update for you. I don't know if it's going to be small. I don't know if it's going to be big. I just have a few things I want to talk about with you guys today and I guess we're just going to jump straight into it. And I kind of put up making this channel update for quite some time because I was like, I did a channel update. I was gone for a while and I made like one or two videos or a few videos and I came back and I was like, do I really want to channel update again? It just seems too confusing. All I'm going to re do is reiterate what's, you know, I've said before, but now there's, it's been like about a week since I kind of came back and I figured it's about time for me to do an actual channel update. So without further ado, let's jump into it. And the first thing we're going to be talking about today is more streams. As you guys may have noticed over the past week, I've been doing a lot of streaming and I've been streaming various things. I streamed, uh, I believe some uh, of the Pokemon Nuzlocke. I streamed some Blackout. I believe I intended to stream Destiny. I didn't get around to it because the Blackout was just too exciting. But um, regardless, I have been streaming a lot more content for the channel and I definitely want to keep doing that. I believe I may have even streamed more times than I uploaded videos in the last week. So you guys can see, of course, that I'm very serious on the whole more streaming thing. And I'm also kind of putting myself in a position where not everyone's going to be able to watch every stream because it's really hard to kind of cater for that. Instead, I'm just going to be streaming when the time suits me. And if it does suit me and it happens to suit you, that's amazing. If it's not, then I'm sorry, it's going to be a bad stream for you because you're not going to get to see it. But of course, every stream will be available to watch on the channel at a later time and I want to talk more about that and I guess moving over into uh, the next thing is of course the varied content and like I said I'll talk about the whole streams and the replays things in a little bit um, of course like I said I've said it many times over the past few months I want to try and vary the content up on this channel by bringing in a lot of different games to play rather than sticking to what I have been doing for the longest time. As you guys know, for a very long time, pretty much all we played was Pokemon. And then about a year ago, maybe, if not less time than that, I introduced Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links to the channel. And it's been fun. I've been enjoying those two games and I still am enjoying those games and I'll touch on them a little bit later as well. But I do want to vary the content. And that's why you've been seeing the Blackout streams. That's why you've been seeing those Blackout videos. There's going to be Destiny stuff coming as well because I recently got Destiny 2. I thought I made a stream on it or a video on it. I might have. I don't remember. I I did. I did stream it. I did stream it. I remember. I streamed the very beginning of the game. Anyway, that's that's beyond the point. Um, I'm going to be bringing more Destiny 2 to the channel. I'm going to be bringing more Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Blackout to the channel. And a bunch of other games too. If you guys don't know, I'm obsessed with the Spider-Man game. I actually 100%ed it a few weeks ago, maybe like a week or two ago. And I still play it. There is nothing for me to do in that game, literally. But I still jump into that game, swing around and have some fun. So I'm really looking forward to the brand new content when that drops. So of course, when that does drop, I will of course be streaming it. And if they ever, not if they ever, when they add the new game plus mode, which of course we get to play the game again, I believe with all your upgrades and everything done, then um, I'm definitely going to stream that as well. I really want to re-experience the story once again. I know it's not the best story in the world. I mean, it's by, by all means a good story, but I just feel like I want to play it some more. I really want to have a purpose in that game again, and I can't wait to play that some more. So again, that's going to be a thing that's going to come to the channel when it happens. But like I said, I'm going to open up this channel to a lot more content, and hopefully you guys will appreciate that. Hopefully you guys will like seeing me play the things that I enjoy playing um, and what things are kind of trending for me at the time. Of course, right now it is Blackout. I've been playing that game a bunch. Uh, and expect to see some Blackout videos as well. Not just like, you know, uh, game highlights and whatnot, but maybe even some tutorials and tips and stuff like that because I feel like I've learned a lot since I started playing, which I figured I would have kind of already known what I was doing since I played a bunch of PUBG and a bunch of Fortnite. But this game is its own little element and I really think that I have a few tips that could help some people so we'll see if that happens it might not it might who knows but like i said the very content is something that i want to bring to the channel a lot more because it just lets me share things that i'm passionate about and speaking of varied content not all this content is going to take place as video games sometimes i might just do some real life experiences like vlogs because uh if you guys know riser my cousin who's also known as Cloud Rise on internet. I'll leave a link to his channel in the, in the uh, description box. Go check him out. He's absolutely amazing. He's an amazing person. I love him. Of course, I love him. He's my cousin. But um, back on topic, he's been pushing me to vlog a little bit, and I feel like it could be a lot of fun. But the reason that I don't do it is because I feel like there's nothing interesting happening. But every now and again, something interesting does happen that's worth vlogging, and I kind of want to push myself out of my comfort zone and make some vlogs and do some fun stuff like that. Who knows? I'm seeing all these fun things pop up in the city around me and I'm thinking, hey, it'd be fun to try that out and maybe I can vlog the experience too. It could be a lot of fun. 
Um, so I'm definitely wanting to jump out of my comfort zone, like I said, and try stuff like that to see where it goes. I know not everything that I'm going to be trying on the channel is going to be the most well received, but I know there's a bunch of you guys who are the hardcore chocolate champions who will just watch anything that I do, and I think that's amazing. I love you guys so much. So thank you for just, you know, being so supportive. You guys are amazing. Um, but moreover, once again, on varied content, I also want to start doing, or maybe start doing, at least try out um, Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG content. So if, if you don't know what I mean by Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG, I mean like the physical card game. I'm sure I've mentioned it several times on the channel that I do play the physical card game. In fact, last weekend I actually went to a local event, which is a sneak peek for the set that comes out later this week. And I actually killed it. I went undefeated, won myself a playmat, it was a really fun time. Um, and I might start making more content based around that, because again, it is one of my hobbies that me and a few of my friends really enjoy. And I feel like if I can't bring my hobbies, if I don't feel comfortable bringing my hobbies to the channel, then why does the channel exist? So I definitely want to try and, um, and at least give it a shot. Maybe you guys don't like it. Maybe it doesn't go anywhere. That's fine. I at least want to try it. Um, so later this week, I'm actually going to have a box of the brand new set. So if you guys don't know, um, in TCG terms, a box is obviously just like literally like the, the little what no the case here. thing or that comes with a bunch of packs in it so i'm gonna buy a box of that or i've already bought a box of that and i'm gonna pick it up and hopefully open up for you guys as well as my prize packs from the event last weekend so it should be fun i'm definitely looking forward to again bringing all that varied content now let's move on to something else before i get too far in and just this becomes a 20 minute update video the second thing is going to be a potential move to twitch tv now i was mentioning that of course the streams are going to be able to be viewed at a later date and while twitch can do that and stuff like that youtube is obviously better because of all the um kind of the it becomes a video you can store it forever twitch of course kind of push things off later um, at a time but the reason i want to move to twitch is because i feel like i want my youtube channel to be a place where i put up my videos that are well-structured content in a way like it almost has a, a, a pattern to it a flow to it you'll have you know this video then and this video here and they're all kind of the higher production quality content you guys know that when I make a blackout video as I did earlier this week it's edited down to be kind of the uh, a, cons a more consumable um, kind of piece of content so it's not just like um, unedited and blah 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 and I want to try and keep YouTube like that um, and I know it makes it a bit awkward because, like, I then I have to move streaming elsewhere. But I feel as though streaming on YouTube, doing the unedited stuff, it doesn't feel like a perfect fit to me. I don't really want to be having, like, all these like, kind of quote-unquote high production quality videos. And then just one video where I literally hit the, start rec or hit the start stream button, my face is on there somewhere, and I'm just playing a game. I feel as though I kind of want to segregate those two. So I'm not too sure what I want to do with that. I might move to Twitch. I know a lot of YouTubers, you know, stream on Twitch and then record highlights and upload them to YouTube. That's kind of a really common thing that people do. And I, I, I think I might also jump on that hype train as well and start taking that route. I can't confirm. Honestly, all I really want to do here in terms of pinging you guys about this is just see what you guys think. Whether you guys are interested in me moving to Twitch, would it be bad for you? Would it be better for you? Would you not watch streams? Would you watch streams more? I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on just everything that I've been saying, not just one thing. Um, but, you know, let me know what you think about everything, the very content, the, the additional streams, potentially moving to Twitch and stuff like that. Let me know. Um, but, yeah, like I said, I'm thinking about moving to Twitch. Another alternative if I do stay on YouTube is the idea of making an unlisted playlist for streams or at least a listed playlist sorry of unlisted videos so if you go into the channel and you look up videos you're just going to see that you know structured content that high production quality content that i like to produce and then if you go into the playlist section or somehow get to the playlist that has our streams it'll just be a bunch of unlisted videos which of course you guys can watch but won't show up on the channel page and you guys can watch any of the streams that you want and i think that could be a really fun way to go about things at the same time part of me worries that if i start streaming so much eventually that playlist is going to get to like hundreds if not thousands of videos in the in the in the far future and that just seems a little bit crazy you know i don't know how i want to do that i kind of don't want my streams to be permanent does that make sense? I want my YouTube videos to be permanent that, you know, come to the channel and stay. But the streams, I feel like making that permanent content that sticks on YouTube just seems a little bit crazy to me. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments section below, like I said. Either way, I just wanted to voice my opinions about that. I do know that Twitch is a better streaming platform for a lot of things. We have mentioned a long time ago the idea of having, like, chocolate chum points, which you guys get awarded for watch time. And then you can spend chocolate chum points to do various things, such as, you know, battle me in a Pokemon battle stream, which, of course, I'll talk about that later as well, and the, the idea of that coming back. Um, but, yeah, just, I think Twitch is a better streaming platform for viewer engagement. Um, 
and they both have their merit so let me know what you think like i said in the comments below i'm pretty sure i've told you guys that like six times anyway back to my list of things that i want to talk about next up on the list is actually Yu-Gi-Oh! duel links and then we'll get to pokemon and and something even more exciting in the future um so like i said duel links the video content has been pretty scarce for Yu-Gi-Oh! links and to be honest i wasn't playing it that much over the past few months of course like i said i was busy but at the same time, the game was quite stale for me. Even when they dropped the brand new big content of the third series of Yu-Gi-Oh! The new content, i.e. Synchro Monsters, was, were just trash. They weren't fun to use. They weren't, like, good at all. Like, they were hard to get out. They were clunky to play. And they didn't really get you anywhere. Um, but I'm definitely getting myself back into it. I built a Blue Eyes White Dragon deck with all the new support that came from the latest box and the new structure deck. And it is awesome. It is so much fun. For those of you guys who understand what I'm talking about when I'm talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! This deck, I've taken it up against for Hires, Amazonas, uh, the Yubel deck, everything, and it does well. It, It's not the best deck, right? It's not an easy king of games. But I am very confident it will get you there. And speaking of getting the king of games, Blue Eyes White Dragon, I'm going to try and do that later this week, if not next week. Because I really think we can do it, and it'd be really fun to do it on the stream. So keep your eyes out for that. But yeah, like I said... I'm definitely looking forward to doing more duelings in the future. The game has gotten so much fun for me again. I think the biggest thing is sometimes there just won't be a deck that I want to play. And that really kills it for me. Like the last few months I haven't done ranked at all. Now I, I did, I believe I went from like 10 ranked wins to 80 ranked wins in the past like 48 hours. I played a lot of Duel Links because I found myself a fun deck and it's a lot of fun to play. So hopefully we can kind of keep up with that trend and we can keep going with it. Because I do love the game. I love Yu-Gi-Oh! You guys know I love Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I'm playing it in TCG form as well. Um, so hopefully Duel Links will keep coming and it's going to be a lot of fun time. I do want to do some more streams. I want to do some more testing of decks. Like Sometimes there are old decks that I haven't played that I do have the cards for. And I feel like I shouldn't do it because it's not new. But you know what? We're just going to do it because they're fun decks. I played Bujins a while ago, and I was like, yo, I can definitely, I can, well, not definitely, I can probably make this. Let's give it a shot. So I think we might, like I said, give that a shot. Like I said, Duelings is still coming. We're going to be doing streamings. Streamings? We're going to do streaming. I'm going to try to get back into the whole um, flow of doing, like, tutorial videos or guide videos for events, for farming. It's been a while since I've done those. I haven't been able to kind of keep up with that because, again, I've been very out of it when it came to playing mobile games because of how busy that was over the past few months. But... Like I said, we're back to normal, which means we can actually have some fun and we can try and go that extra mile for everything that we do. Now, next topic, the final topic, which is weird that it should have been the first since it was kind of the main thing that made the channel grow, Pokemon. As you guys know, it's been a long time since we've done a lot of Pokemon content. We haven't done any Battle Spot in a while. We haven't done any Wi-Fi Battles in a while. The only content that we really have for Pokemon is a Let's Play. And to be honest, Let's Plays are my favorite type of Pokemon content because nothing beats going into a battle and being like, oh, hey, it's a gym battle at, like, level 20. We should be fine. Mewtwo. And then you're like, oh, no. Um, that's a lot of fun for me. I always love doing randomized content, especially randomized. Um, but, of course, the Nuzlocke challenge part of it makes it really exciting because, of course, you have, you know, to worry about the lives of all your Pokemon. But, like I mentioned in a bit of an update that I gave on the Discord, this content's coming back. You guys saw last weekend we did a live stream of the Pokemon Nuzlocke, and I think from here on out, the Pokemon Nuzlocke is going to continue on in that fashion. It'll leave kind of, I guess, quote-unquote, video slots open throughout the week for me to do that very content I talked about so much, um, as well as give you guys more in the week. Instead of being, you know, three sets of half hour, which is, of course, an hour and a half, we can do one three-hour stream in the week, and that's obviously double the content, and it's a lot easier for me to produce. I think it could should be a lot of fun to do things that way as for wipeout battles i want to start doing that again this weekend um, no promises just yet keep an eye on the discord and and twitter and just all these different platforms because that's where i'll let you guys know when i'm streaming but yeah i definitely do want to start doing wipeout battling again um, because I, I do enjoy it. i enjoy playing with you guys you guys always had so much fun battling me i had fun battling you it was always such a great time, so I definitely want to try and bring that back. If not this week, hopefully next week. Again, no promises, but just know that if this is the content that you've been missing, I do want it to come back. I'm just trying to make it all happen. Then, the kind of elephant in the room when it comes to Pokemon, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. These games are coming out in... A, is it about a month or is it is it December? I think it's about a month. I don't know. I don't remember the release date. All I know is that when they come out, I'm definitely getting myself one copy of the game, and I'm more than likely going to get myself two copies of the game. And as you guys probably know already, as soon as that game drops, like literally midnight here in Australia, or maybe even 11 p.m. because of time zones, we're going to jump on, we're going to live stream the game, and it should be a lot of fun. I cannot wait. We're going to do a Let's Play of the game, which might turn out to be Nuzlocke. I don't think so. I kind of want to chill out and play this very calm. 
um, nostalgic fun game that is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu slash Let's Go Eevee. And then I'm also going to have another game where I bum rush through it, literally bum rush through it as fast as I can. Literally the entire weekend will be playing that game. Uh, and I will of course try and do item guides and any other kind of guides that are necessary for that game for you guys. So you can have the easiest time in that game as possible, getting to the things you want, getting the Pokemon you want, getting the moves that you want, getting the items you want. It should be a fun time. I'm looking forward to it. And if the game has online content, which I still don't know if it does, I've heard things about it having online battling, I've heard things about it not having online battling, so I don't even know anymore. But hopefully it does have online content, if it does, 100% we will stream it. I'm not crazy, I love Pokemon, you guys love Pokemon, we will play it, it's gonna happen, if it can happen. And then, I guess that kind of covers everything, Nuzlocke's and live streams. I want to bring everything else back. I'm not sure if I'm going to touch Battle Spot again, um, I feel like I made a video a long time ago where I'm like, I'm done with Battle Spot period, and I didn't actually intend to be done with Battle Spot period, but I kind of ended up being done with Battle Spot period, so maybe I would bring it back just so that way that isn't the last Battle Spot video. Uh, I don't know, we'll see how it goes, just, just, if you want to see it, just spam comments down there. If I see like 20 comments Seriously? asking for one type of video, it's going to happen, just, just saying. So if you want to see it, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, then finally, the last topic I want to talk about is something that I guess is super important to the channel and that is Super Smash Brothers. Now, if you guys don't know, the very first video on this channel is actually myself, Cage, and Rise Up playing Super Smash Brothers uh, on the Wii. The Wii? Or was it, or was it, it might have been the Wii. If it, or was it the Wii U? No, I think it was the Wii U. I think it was Smash for Wii U. Whatever it was, we played Smash Brothers. And now Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is coming out very, very soon. I've of course got my copy pre-ordered and I'm looking forward to it. And I definitely want to bring it to the channel in a really, really big way. As you guys know, Super Smash Bros. for the 3DS slash Smash Bros. on um, Wii U. I don't know why I blanked on that. I just said it five seconds ago. But yeah, Smash Bros. on the 3DS and the Wii U was never really a big part of the channel. Uh, I made a few videos on it, but it wasn't just as hype. And part of that was because... I didn't stream back then, I couldn't stream back then, so of course I didn't get to engage with you guys. Um, and even after we brought it back like for stream week earlier this year, uh, I didn't really stick with it a lot. Most of that is because the 3DS is a platform that I want to play with if I want to play with you guys. But the Wii U is the platform that I wanted to play with if I wanted to have the best experience both streaming and playing. And so, because I couldn't get that balance, it was very, very difficult. However, because this next game is only coming out on the Switch, it means we can only have the best possible options. For those of you guys who have a Switch, be sure to pick up Smash Brothers if you're thinking about it, because I'd love to play with you guys. And of course, get excited, because I'll probably be streaming Smash Brothers maybe even like daily for the first week, because I'm looking forward to it. I want to get good at the game. And you know, just I, I, I used to be good at Smash Brothers at one point in my life, but I want to try and be that good at Smash Brothers again. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. But yeah, get keen because Smash Brothers, when it comes out, will be coming to the channel in a very, very big way. And hopefully you guys are able to pick up the game yourself on your own Nintendo Switch so we can play together. Because you know I love playing with the games with you guys. It's always so much fun. It, sh it should be great. Either way, guys, that is 20 whole minutes, or almost 20 whole minutes of your life featuring me talking about my YouTube channel. I hope you guys enjoyed it for whatever reason. I hope you guys like listening to me ramble. If you do, hit that like button. And I guess I kind of wrap things up. Like, okay, like I said, just to recap, I want to do more streams. I want to bring more varied content to the channel. I might move to Twitch. Um, if you guys think that's a bad idea or a good idea, let me know. Um, Duel Links is, of course, going to kick up again because I'm loving the game once more. I'm playing so much of it. And I'm excited to try out new different decks, older decks, and lots of fun stuff. Pokemon, of course, is going to be amazing when Let's Go drops. But even still, before that, we're going to be doing our Nuzlocke on streams. And then finally, Smash Brothers, when it comes out, it's going to be a wonderful time. As long as you guys pick up the game, feel free to hit me up. We'll play on stream a lot. I can guarantee it. Either way, once again, I want to thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If for some reason you're not subscribed here already, you know, hit that subscribe button. I don't know why you're watching this and made it to the end of the video if you're not subscribed. Um, and really quickly, for those of you guys who stick out to the end of the video, shout out to you. You're amazing. And of course, those of you who watch the video at the very start when it first comes out because you're notification squad, another huge shout out to you. Amazing people. Like I said, once again, comment down below. Let me know what you think of all of the things I've talked about in this video. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on how we can push this channel forward. And finally, I want to thank you for watching once again. Thank you for just being amazing people and sticking with me through this very trying time in terms of YouTube. And I want to thank you for watching once again. I know I said thank you like 7 million times, but I'm going to say it one more time. 7 million and 1. Thank you. And until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day.